If you pre-order the Huawei Nova 7i, you would have noticed that there are a couple of changes on the device. That is, if you are previously on a Huawei device, maybe the Huawei Y series, the P series, or even the Nova 5T, you'd notice that the Huawei Nova 7i doesn't come with Google Play services. And instead, it has Huawei mobile services. I'm here to explain everything to you and how you can also go ahead and download your favorite mobile apps on this device, even with the absence of Google Play services. I go by the name Del P. Let's get started. So before, before I start the video, please make it a point to hit the subscribe button, share, like, and comment in the comment section. Huawei recently released the Nova 7i series. In other parts of the world, it is known as the Huawei P40 Lite. This device actually doesn't come with Google services, and as such, it doesn't have Google Play Store, Google Maps, any Google app that was on their previous devices with Google services is absent on this one. So people who don't have the idea about it would then be in awe or disappointment that this doesn't have the ease or the means by which we could actually download our apps. So how do we go about it? How do you download your preferred apps on your Huawei Nova 7i? Well, that is why I am here today. I'm here to help you and tutor you into getting your favorite applications on your Huawei device. So on my device, um, you can see that I still have Google apps on it. Just Let's pretend that there's no Google Apps on this device because you're using the Nova 7i. So what you have to go ahead and do is to find your app gallery. On my device, I still have the app gallery because it's a Huawei device and it has Huawei mobile services as well. So I open the app gallery and then all I have to do is to just locate the application I want. So let's say I want to download WhatsApp because that's basically one application everybody downloads once they get their device. So I'm searching for WhatsApp and let's see what happens right after it comes up. So you'd realize that the WhatsApp application is not in the Huawei app gallery because it's just restricted to Google Play services and Apple's iOS um, store, which is Apple App Store. And so all you have to go ahead and do is just click on get and then it will send you to the official download site for Android. And then all you have to go ahead and do is just click on the download now and download it. Now other apps like Snapchat are already on this app gallery. So on, on, on with Snapchat, you're going to find it here on the app gallery. I personally find myself using the app gallery more because I want to really switch into the Huawei ecosystem than depend on Android more often. Because I, myself and Waz are Huawei fans and freaks. So we do really enjoy the Huawei ecosystem despite everything. Now people will be asking, why don't we have Google services on our Huawei Nova 7i. Google services or Google and Huawei have kind of a thing going on now. And so Google decided to step out or step away from providing services to Huawei. So if you're having that experience, then that is basically the reason why. There was something called a breach of contract and privacy issues. So Google stayed away from Huawei. And so for now, you're just going to stick to Huawei mobile services. And this is one other thing I want you to do. This is a very simple method. I wouldn't have it here because I have Google services, but I'd ask you to do it. As Rick Aqua, who is also a tech YouTuber, made a video about this same thing. So I'll link his channel or his video in the description and the first main comment. So you check it out. So what you have to do is to download an app called the App Finder. It won't appear, it won't appear on my phone because I use Google services. So I wouldn't really get it, but you would find it and it's definitely going to be the first one to come up. So when you find it, all you have to do is to go ahead and download it. And trust me, that is where you'd find almost every application. You wouldn't get YouTube and other Google services, but with YouTube's Huawei app gallery is going to give you a direct link to the website. So you would get a web version, which would create a shortcut on your home screen. And once it's there, one, one, one big advantage is that once you have the shortcut of the web version, you don't need to worry about future updates because it's a web version and it always stays up to date. So this is a short tutorial on how to get your Huawei app gallery running for your favorite applications since you migrated from the Google ecosystem to this. And so this shouldn't be a bother. This should be very easy and very, very user friendly. My name is Delpy once again. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'm out.